For decades, the Hispanic Health Council has been a pillar of vibrant communities across Connecticut. The council was born in 1978, but its roots took hold years earlier when eight-month-old Rosa Maria Rivera died in the backseat of a police car on the way to a city hospital. The official cause of death was dehydration, but the fact that the mother did not speak English and the staff of two hospitals could not speak Spanish contributed to the tragic outcome. Sudando, y por qué el doctor no, no encontraron lo, lo que tenía. Y tuve que llamar a la ambulancia y llegó, llegó el guardia primero y me dice, I can wait. Me dice, I can wait. Ya te go now. Lo puse aquí. So soy acá. Lo puse aquí. Y ahí se murió en, 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 en mi brazo. This tragedy illuminated widespread barriers to health and health care facing Hartford's growing Latino population. It also inspired an energetic multidisciplinary group of advocates to form the Puerto Rican Health Committee, which later became the Hispanic Health Council. The council came into being with an activist spirit, a commitment to social change, a dedication to serving the community, and an abiding respect for the dignity of the oppressed. The original vision of the Hispanic Health Council was to use community-based research to inform system change. Advocacy took place in the streets, at the Capitol, in the media, wherever needed. Over the years, the Hispanic Health Council used this research to advocate the hospitals to be required to provide informed consent in the patient's preferred language, promote syringe exchange as a harm reduction strategy, promote establishment of one of the nation's first municipal food policy commissions, and promote medical interpretation in healthcare. The council soon realized that in addition to advocacy, culturally appropriate services were needed to address community health issues. The Council's portfolio of evidence-based services now serves all diverse communities, covers the lifespan, crosses the state borders, and includes strategies in health promotion and chronic disease management, with particular focus on addressing the major social determinants that impact health. The Council's programs focus on maternal and child health, nutrition education, youth development and academic support, employment support for Latinos with mental illness, and chronic disease management. The Hispanic Health Council's bilingual, bicultural staff members come from the communities they serve. On a daily basis, they establish confianza with community members as they support them to improve their health and move their lives forward. The Hispanic Health Council has used evidence to promote the community health workers' workforce in Connecticut. The Council has developed and disseminated policy reports and briefs, convened symposiums, and empowered community health workers to testify before the legislature. The Council has also contributed to improving health care by training health and public health students, providers, and faculty through its cross-cultural and diversity inclusiveness curriculum. From programs that assist individuals to advocacy initiatives that change systems, the Hispanic Health Council continues to work at multiple levels to improve the health and social well-being of Latinos and other diverse groups.